Mr. Speaker, uh, this is personal statement, pass one to standing order 52-1, threats to my life due to my oversight function. Mr. Speaker, sir, as a senator, my constitutional responsibility is to serve the people of Isiolo County, uphold transparency and ensure accountability in all county government operations. I am constitutionally tasked with exercising oversight of our county government functions to safeguard the interests of the people of Isiolo County, including ensuring prudent and responsible uh, management of resources. Mr. Speaker, sir, this responsibility has come with significant challenges, most notably threats to my life and unwarranted interference by certain individuals within the county government. And I wish to bring the following to the attention of this house. Number one, I have credible information that plans are underway by some individuals aiming to obstruct my access to Isiolo County. These plans are an attempt to prevent me from uh, performing my oversight role effectively and hinder my engagement with the people that I represent. Number two, my staff and supporters have faced continuous harassment, including confrontation by hired goons and repeated summons by security agencies in Isiolo, and intended to intimidate and dissuade them from supporting my work. Such tactics are alarming and have hampered my staff ability to perform their duties. Number three, yesterday, 30th October 2024, a meeting was held and attended by 10 county government employees and where discussions are centered on planning an attempt on my life, uh, Mr. Speaker. This conversation allegedly included plans for my assassination, posing a a very uh, real and serious threat to my life. I am therefore deeply concerned for my well-being. Uh, Mr. Speaker, a petition has also been filed against me at the High Court in Isiolo aimed at this destabilizing and preventing my work and tarnishing my reputation as public servant. This adds to the challenges that I face in discharging my constitutional oversight functions. Uh, my county office was recently broken into and, and items stolen under suspicious circumstances. Uh, this act not only undermines my work, but raises questions about the lengths uh, certain individuals are willing to go to hinder my officers op office operations. I would like to state categorically that should anything happen to me, my family, my employees, or my supporters, the county government of Isiolo must be held accountable. Uh, finally, Mr. Speaker, I have reported this matter to Director of Criminal Investigation to ensure that it is addressed promptly and thoroughly. I am committed to pers pursuing justice and transparency for the sake of the people of Isiolo County and will continue to carry out my oversight duties despite these threats and challenges. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.